Hey guys, this is your Nintendo Switch Weekend Review where we'll cover all the new game releases and game announcements for this week. So without further delay, let's get started. We got four releases this week, starting out with the weekly Neo Geo port Fatal Fury 2, which is available on the eShop for $7.99. This is a typical 2D fighter from the old school Neo Geo era. Over at the Japanese eShop, we saw the release of Touch Battle Tank SP for 500 yen. Back here in the States, we saw the release of Cave Story Plus for $29.99 on the eShop. And lastly, we saw the release of Ocean Horn Monster of the Uncharted Seas for $14.99 on the eShop. This game is only available digitally. And people are basically saying that it's a little bit of a Zelda clone, light, not really all that deep. Old school Zelda, by the way, not the new Zelda. But it's still a pretty good game, I think. I've picked it up, I've enjoyed it, so I would recommend giving it a look. Moving over to game announcements, it's very clear that because it's the first week of post E3, we didn't really get that many new announcements that are big, but we still got plenty nonetheless. Starting out with 2064 Read Only Memories from developer Midboss. Neo San Francisco 2064 AD Your life as a struggling journalist is interrupted by the world's first sapient machine, a ROM named Turing. Together you and the quirky robot will encounter a colorful cast of locals and overcome challenges as you uncover the city's secrets behind the overlapping futures of technology and humanity. Then, Fuse Technology surprised us with the announcement that Fuse Code Studio is coming to the Switch. This is a very interesting one as I wouldn't necessarily call this a game but more of a tool that teaches you how to code. This version specifically will have a ton of Switch extras such as direct access to the Joy-Con sensors and control directly of the programs, being able to use the dock to show off your games to your friends and family, programmable synthesizer and speech engine, the user Use of the game graphics and audio to create your very own aesthetically and pleasing visuals, extra content that will be available via download, and the use of a USB keyboard. We also got confirmation that Swap Fire Season 2 from developer Midnight Status is coming to the Switch. The developers are promising that the game will stay focused on making sure that the fun parts of Swap Fire remain wholly intact while they remove the rough edges and furnish it with a beautiful art as also bringing an online component with a system that fosters a community, activities, and engagement. Swap Fire 2 is planned to release later next year. We also got confirmation from developer Dragon Entertainment that Dan Maku Unlimited 3 is coming to the Switch. This is a bullet hell game inspired by the legendary classics like Ikigura, Dondon Pachi, and Toho. Dan Maku Unlimited 3 is a lovingly crafted medley of the best aspects of Japanese bullet hell games, with innovations and twists that makes an accessible package for perfectly suited gateway into the world of the bullet hell game genre. We also got the announcement from the developer Rainy Knight that Vaccine is coming to the Switch. This is a survival horror game that clearly took inspiration from Resident Evil even in the PlayStation 1 blocky contextualized look that it presents. People took issue with the randomizer angle of the game where sometimes you are thrown into unwinnable scenarios and others are too easy back in the PC version. So hopefully for the Switch version there will be some balancing to combat those issues. And lastly, we got confirmation from Merge Games with collaboration of Prospect Games that Unbox Newbie's Adventure is coming to the Switch. Assuming the guise of Newbie, a cardboard box, players must bounce around and roll their way through a glorious 3D world filled with scenic vistas, mountains, islands, and the like. Newbie's lot in life is to prove his worth as a sentient, self-delivering package and in doing so, save the global postal service from bankruptcy. That's all for the game announcements and game releases we have to cover this week. As per always, thank you guys for watching and sticking around. Be sure to come back next week for another Nintendo Switch Weekend Review. See ya.